Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. We have a very exciting show for you this week. Lots of productions, both Broadway and Off-Broadway, are wrapping up their runs late August and through September, and you're not going to want to miss them. So to start us off, one of the most successful musicals ever, Les Miserables, will be ending its run at the Imperial Theatre on September 4th. It's based on the Victor Hugo novel. The score is by the Tony Award-winning team of Claude Michel Schoenberg, Alan Boublil, and Herbert Kretzmer. It's directed by Lawrence Connor and James Powell. New to the cast is John Owen Jones. It's playing at the Imperial Theater. <laughs> At the Booth Theater, wrapping up its limited run, Sean Hayes starring in An Act of God. Another one you absolutely don't want to miss. It is so funny. It's written by David Haberbaum, and it's directed by two-time Tony Award winner Joe Montello. Also in the cast, David Josephson and James Gleason. An Act of God plays through September 4th at the Booth Theater. I was with Thomas Jefferson when he drafted the Declaration of Independence. He said, Lord. I said, yes. He said, is it OK that I write, all men are created equal. They are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I said, Tommy, how do you come up with this crap? <laughs> but whatever works. Look, there are over 200 nations on Earth, and every single one of them is under me, whether they say it in their pledge or not. So that's it. Go tell your money to trust someone else. I'm done blessing you. I admit, I have recently been enjoying dropping into the brains of certain right-wing politicians and telling them to run for president. But that's not by way of blessing you, that's by way of amusing me. <laughs> the one thing I definitely am is a brand. I am an established, well-respected brand, okay? So when I see some backup wide receiver from dipshit university on SportsCenter point to me after scoring a touchdown, it cheapens the brand. Like, th 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 this one's very simple. I'm not with you when your team wins. I'm not against you when your team loses. I'm not with or against you when you win or lose. I, okay, I am not a Dodger or a Laker or a Clipper or, or I'm definitely not a Ram. You just heard what I do to Rams. <laughs> yeah. I don't guide the ball between the uprights or into the basket or out of the stadium or into your opponent's crotch. Okay, you won the game, congratulations. Your Super Bowl MVP, Mazel Tov. World Cup champion, Gluckvinch. But leave me out of it, okay, because your piety, or lack thereof, either as an athlete, a team, or a fan base, is meaningless to me. I don't influence the outcome of sporting events to affect the winner, are we clear? I only, on extremely rare occasions, influence the outcome of a sporting event to affect the spread. Fun Home, which is the five-time Tony Award-winning musical, will be wrapping up its run on September 10th at Circle in the Square. 
The Tony wins include Best Musical, Best Actor, Michael Cerberus, Best Direction, Sam Gold, Book, Lisa Crone, and Score by Janine Tesori and Lisa Crone. It also stars Judy Kuhn, Emily Skeggs, Beth Malone, and Joel Perez. It's based on the novel by Alison Bechdel. Fun Home is a terrific musical. Catch it before it closes September 10th. Maps show you what's simple and true. Try laying out a bird's eye view. Not what he told you, just what you see. What do you know that's not your dad's mythology? I guess I'm older, and it's harder when you're older to begin. Peeling plaster, sagging roof, Two missing stairs, a buckle wall. I'm fired up to do this, but on my own. Oh, so much damage, broken windows, pipes are shit, crap veneer. It's hours later, Jesus, I'm still standing. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime will be wrapping up its incredible run on September 4th at the Barrymore Theatre. It won five Tony Awards. The Curious Incident is written by Simon Stevens and directed by Tony Award winner Marianne Elliott. <laughs> for Off-Broadway. Closing also on September 10th is Ruthless, which has been playing at the St. Luke's Theater for over a year. Music is by Marvin Laird, book, lyrics, and direction by Joel Paley. I'll get it! <laughs> Hello, yes, this is Dina's mother. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. She loves to entertain. Yes, she'll return her cane. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Goodbye. Tina, you're on. Hello, Mother. I love company. Say hello to Miss St. Croix. J.T. Rogers' new play, Oslo, directed by Tony Award winner Bartlett Shear, will be wrapping up its incredible run on August 28th at the Mitzi Newhouse Theater. It will be moving to Broadway next spring. So if you can't get a ticket now, buy your tickets for Broadway. It's going to be moving upstairs to the Vivian Beaumont, and it stars Tony Award winners Jefferson Mays 
and Jennifer Ely. The play takes a behind-the-scenes look at the 1993 Oslo Peace Accords. It is fascinating. Also wrapping up its limited run on August 28th is Butler over at 59E59 Theatres. It's written by Richard Strand and directed by Joseph Disher. It's based on true events that took place during the Civil War with General Benjamin Butler and an escaped slave. It is a fascinating play that you will not want to miss. Sherry, I don't know. You don't know if you do or do not want sherry? Yes, sir. I don't know. Why not? Never had sherry before. I poured sherry before, but I never tasted it. Yeah. Drink this. It's very good sherry. Another glass? No, thank you, sir. Why not? Don't like sherry. Very well. Do you want to hear my request, or are you just going to keep looking at me? I can't help you with your request or your demand. I'm not making demands, Ben. It doesn't matter, Shepard Mallory. I won't be able to help you. How do you know? You haven't heard my request. You would like sanctuary in my fort. Yes, sir. You do not wish to be returned to your own. I do not. I can't help you. Let me explain. The explanation is irrelevant. All you can do is convince me that you are right. I already agree with you. But there is a law, and the law is clear. Fugitive slaves must be returned to their owners. It's a matter of constitutional law, and it's codified the Fugitive Slave Act. In case you haven't heard, there is no law anymore. There's a war going on now. It doesn't matter. We're fighting to uphold the law. We cannot suddenly decide to break the law in order to uphold it. Sure you can. You're a lawyer. You can twist the law. You can make the law be anything you want it to be. You can make a law mean the opposite of what it's supposed to mean. That's what lawyers do, isn't it? No, that is not what lawyers do. That's not what I heard. Shepard Mallory, do slaves spend a lot of time talking to each other about lawyers? I heard a good lawyer can always use convoluted reasoning to find a loophole. From whom? Who have you been talking to about lawyers and loopholes? Don't remember. Sorry to have disturbed you. Mr. Mallory, may I ask you a question? You're the general. Seems to me you can do pretty much anything you want. Isn't that the way it works? Most of the time. So ask me. Are all Negroes like you? Yes, sir. Every one of us is exactly the same. I'm glad you noticed that. You're making sport of me. No, sir. I'm just letting you know that once you've met one Negro, there really is no point in meeting another one. Don't even waste your time. I didn't mean anything insulting. No, sir. I didn't think you did. You're still making sport of me. I don't buy. But the question was sincere. I don't talk to very many Negroes. I'm surprised. It surprises you that I don't talk to very many Negroes? No, sir. It surprises me that you've talked to any Negroes at all. Where have you been having these conversations with Negroes? At your church? In this here fort? <gasps> Maybe when you were at West Point. Just where have you been conversing with Negroes? I didn't go to West Point. I bet you didn't talk to a lot of Negroes at where you went to become a lawyer either. All right. You 
are correct. I can't remember ever having a conversation for any length of time with a Negro until today. Well, you ain't missed much. It's just like you figured we're all the same. I'll tell you this much. I never talked to anybody like you. Where Zabruta is wrapping up 10 years at the Darrow Roth Theater. The last performance will also be on August 28th. If you haven't seen this yet, I'm surprised you've had 10 years, so don't miss it. act playing at New World Stages will be wrapping its limited run on September 4th. It's a fascinating look at what goes on behind closed doors between the lawyers in a class action suit. A class act is written by Norman Schabel and directed by Christopher Scott. The effect which has been playing to packed houses down at the Barrow Street Theatre will wrap up its limited run on September 4th. It's written by Lucy Preble and directed by David Cromer. The effect is a very interesting look at volunteers in a clinical trial. Here are some scenes. And there's no chance he could be pregnant? No. What contraception are you using? None. 
Are you in a relationship? Yep. Are you sexually active in that relationship? I have had sex. Um, I hope to have sex again. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not having sex right now. No, not, uh, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the date of your last period? Uh, I always feel like I should know that. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago? Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> I am pretending to know. Quietly is making lots of noise down at the Irish Rep because it's just been extended through September 25th. Written by Owen McCafferty and directed by Jimmy Fay, Quietly takes a look at the lasting effects of the Troubles in Northern Ireland. I'll bet there'll be snow. I'll make it easy for you. Pull in the shite. So in Northern Ireland. Less shite. Come on, let's bear me. No. We were both 16 and now we're both 52. Now we're predicting scores at the moment. As far as I know, ages that fuck all of you, right? This means something. 3 2 to Northern Ireland. 4 3 to Poland. That's not predicting a score. That's just hoping for a result. Okay, I'll think harder about it. Uh, 4 3 to Poland. <laughs> Up your Polish hole. Up your Nordic hole. Poland is. 99% Catholic. That's a lot of Catholics, isn't it? I'll do some damage there, man. Every time you shook a stick, you hit one. Anyone ever hit you with a stick, Robert? My father, many times. Did he? Yes. Fuck that. My father never lifted his hand on me in his life. Uh, should have done. You wanted your father to hit you? <laughs> He'd hit like me, you wouldn't say that. What would I want someone to fucking hit me for? Whenever I was a kid and you did something you got slapped for, my mother used to do the slapping. He should have helped her out with that, taking the heat off her, you know? Don't slap, me. Small Mouth Sounds, which has transferred from Ars Nova, is now playing at the Signature Theatre through September 25th. It's written by Bess Wall and directed by Rachel Chavkin. And now let's have a look at what's going on in the clubs around town. Over at Feinstein's 54 Below, Michael Feinstein and Marilyn May will be playing from August 23rd through September 1st. On August 26th and September 10th, Scott Siegel presents Broadway Originals, Broadway stars singing their songs that they originated on Broadway. Tony Danza brings his show back on September 8th and 9th. You've seen him in Taxi, you've seen him in Who's the Boss, and recently in Honeymoon in Vegas. It's a great show. This is his third visit there. Linda Etter, who you know from Broadway's Jekyll and Hyde, brings her show back to the club from September 29th through October 1st. And over at the Metropolitan Room, always something very exciting. August 26 brings us Richard Holbrook. Jazz singer Annie Ross has been playing the club every Tuesday and continues to do so. Ann Dawson brings her new show to the club on September 6. And on September 7th, the incredible and talented Jim Brochu. Over at the Triad on Monday, August 29th, is the next celebrity autobiography. It's one of my favorite things to do. You can't make this stuff up. Celebrities read other celebrities' autobiographies, and it's hysterical. August 29th show includes Moloch Panchali, Marsha Mason, Richard Kind, Eugene Pack, and Peter Scolari. I'll be there on August 29th. I hope I'll see you up at the Triad. And to close our show this evening, since it's summer, over at Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor, My Fair Lady has been extended through September 4th, Labor Day weekend. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's the famous Lerner and Low musical based on Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. It is a total delight. Directed by Michael Arden, the cast includes Paul Alexander Nolan, Kelly Barrett, Howard McGillan, and Carol Shelley. Eliza Doolittle. What is it you want? Them won't take me unless I can talk more genteel. I'll make a duchess of this draggletail gutter snipe. Oh, you don't care for nothing but yourself. Hey, I've had enough of this. I'm going. Eliza, have some chocolates. 
Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. You'll be sorry, but your tears will be too late. You'll be broke and I'll have money. Will I help you? Don't be funny. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. By George, she's got it! <laughs> By George, she's got it! The rain! gentlemen, but I am not dirt under your feet. Miss Doolittle, you look beautiful. I shall not feel alone without you. I shall stand on my own without you. 